Hey guys, in this chapter, we are still talking about the library module, but we're going to focus a little bit more in and talk more about catalogs. Catalogs to me really are the heart and soul of this program because it's where everybody puts all their stuff. Now again, a catalog is like a paper catalog. When I was growing up, there was a catalog called the Sears and Roebuck catalog. I think today it's just the Sears catalog. What's in it? is photographs of everything, but they're not really there. I know how to get to them. These photos are not really there, but it knows where they are. That's the purpose of a catalog. If you had asked me when Lightroom first came out, and that was years ago, how many catalogs I had, I would tell you I had a whole lot more than I have today. The first versions of Lightroom really didn't handle a lot of images in a efficient way. And the more images you would put into a catalog, the slower the program would get. I want to tell you something. The engine, the thing we don't see, but we appreciate, has gotten a whole lot better in Lightroom 3 and then, of course, in 4. I have a friend who has one catalog with a quarter of a million images in it, and I still think he's crazy. I do have other catalogs, though. So let's talk in this lesson about making a new catalog. That's pretty easy, actually. We'll start by going up to the word file on the pull down menu and going down to new catalog. So far, so good. Give it a name, like client. I've got a client called B, because I already have a client called A. And what I want to do with this particular library is hold the information I need for that client. And in actuality, that information could be already in some of my other Lightroom catalogs. Because remember, it's not really the images. It's only where they are. So client B, I'm going to put this on the desktop. I don't necessarily recommend putting all your catalogs on the desktop. That would get kind of cluttered. But for the sake of teaching, it'll be easier for me to get to. I'll go ahead and say desktop and click create. Lightroom will close. You can only have one catalog open at a time. And when it reopens, we have a brand new catalog just waiting for us to click the import button and begin bringing things in. Now notice everything is different. Our preferences for catalogs are reset, and those are like under the word Lightroom or Edit. And that's these preferences right here. We talked about that earlier. Everything is reset. This is a whole new ball game for this particular catalog. If you want to go back to one you've already made, I would suggest instead of going to the word File and selecting Open, Try Open Recent. I like that feature. And in Open Recent, the last catalog that we went to was Andy's main catalog right here. And it will close down again, but it will warn us that it has to close it down. Now, I usually leave these on for class so you can see the warnings. I know what's going to happen. I really don't need it to tell me, oh, hey, guess what? I'm going to close and reopen a catalog. So I usually say don't show again. But for teaching, we'll leave all this stuff on. Just click Relaunch closes, and it'll reopen the catalog we started with. So not rocket science, obviously, but creating catalogs, to me, is an important part in the organization of your images. And when you get from 100 to 1,000 to 10,000 to 100,000 or even more, you will appreciate the fact that you did this up front. On to the next.